Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm gonna do a video today just showing some of the short shotgun microphones that are currently out there on the market, both for connectivity over XLR, requiring Phantom for your, mo your more uh, pro camera setups, um, and also ones that terminate in 3.5 mil, uh, 1 eighth, um, for uh, connecting directly into audio input jacks on DSLR, mirrorless, and more consumer level gear. So uh, guess where I am looking for? I'm on b and and I typed in short shotgun and I got more uh, results than I expected to, um, but I just created a little wish list, which I'm uh, gonna jump you guys into to show what I think are some of the more um, standout options in this uh, particular product category. Now, firstly, why short shotgun microphones? So if you take a look at my Canon XA40, which I picked up recently, um, I went for the like cheapest uh, phantom powered shotgun that um, basically I could get um, and afford because I'm like kind of gradually saving up um, for these purchases and the camera itself is like a big purchase. But this is a not short shotgun. So you can see the camera, the Canon XA40 comes in at 21 centimeters. I think you can see my, you can see my mouse, so that's great. This is 21 centimeters and the microphone itself is 28. So the point of this is you can see, right, that's not so bad having a bit of foam over there, but you can see it kind of stretches out past. Now for portability, this is a bit of an issue because if, you're, you know, if your camera bag is kind of tight and you spec it according to your camera size or pretty close to that, a very big long shotgun on a short-ish camera like these compact pro camcorders from Canon might mean, like in my case, that your camera bag no longer fits. And uh, that's a bit of a problem if you've invested in a good camera bag. So there is a reason that short shotguns have a place. Uh, if space is not a constraint, the long ones are more directional. Uh, here's what a short shotgun looks like on my camera, the XA40. I shot with this setup at a conference this week and unfortunately, uh, my microphone vanished after shortly after the shot was taken. I think some of the, one of the audio guys uh, mistakenly thought it was part of their gear, so I'm gonna have to either figure out a way to get it back or buy another one. It's a bit of a bit of a bummer. Um, so, regarding short shotguns, before I go into the various options, let me just uh, a couple of things to know about them. This is this is a resource from Sure, who of course are a very trustworthy brand in the microphone world. They say a short shotgun is less directional than its longer siblings, but often useful when length must be minimized. It still provides better rejection of off access high frequencies than a hypercardioid microphone would. So think about what they're saying there is that like, and I saw this being discussed on the videography subreddit, there's such thing as a shotgun microphone being actually too directional for your needs. Like if your interview talent is moving around a little bit, excessive directionality might be a bad thing. On the flip side, a lack of directionality in the, in the polar pattern might be a negative too if it's, pick, if it's picking up a lot of noise from the side. So rejection uh, and the polar pattern is very important when it comes to microphones. And uh, this is what I've seen, I've seen it written in a few other places, so I'm, you know, I trust Sure is correct in this. The, the, key, the key takeaway here, a short shotgun is less directional than its longer siblings. And most uh, professional shotgun microphones come in various sizes, I've noticed. Your long shotguns, your medium shotguns, and your short shotgun. So that's kind of the playoff. You're, you're getting less uh, in the way of size. And as I mentioned uh, with my photo of my camcorder, it's a lot, it looks a lot better. The day, the day I got to play around with my short shotgun, it looked an awful lot tidier. It, it fit into my camera bag better, but you're gonna be getting less directionality because it's short. the microphone uh, uh, diaphragm is shorter. Now regarding short shotgun microphones I could find on the market, uh, that's a dangerous add all to cart button because no, I do not have $7,000 on hand to order every short shotgun microphone in existence. Um, I've, or, I can sort these from price height low and you can see how insanely expensive microphones can get, okay? Two, you didn't read this wrong, $2,400. So when people say that, you know, um, Sennheiser is like the top of the microphone market. Nope, uh, actually gets more expensive. So the pro gear can be super, super pricey. I'm not, you know, so I imagine this is used by film and TV where price is just not a concern and they're looking for the very best. 
money can buy the schlubs mini cmet but let, let's just go back to some stuff that's going to work for most of us uh regular uh folk not working in hollywood so um i've heard a bit about this microphone the rycoat hc15 uh and you can see the reviews on b and h as well getting down into the more consumer prosumer friendly price points now my this is the one that i bought and that vanished at the conference was the audio technica so that's kind of at the very low end of this particular market jumping up a tiny bit you have the deity s mic 2s and this is a uh short shotgun that terminates terminates in um, xlr and it's also moisture resistant it's got eight five star reviews on uh bnh and i've only heard glowing things about deity so for an extra hundred bucks i'm tempted to uh, i'm tempted to actually go with this guy it's a short body and note that it is phantom powered the moisture resistance is good um, because if you're shooting in the rain and your camera is protected now water resistance does not mean waterproof and just to show you what a short shotgun means if they have the measurement over here uh, you know a full-size shotgun could get up to 28 30 centimeters and if I click into specs I'm sure they have the length up here somewhere I presume the length is written physical dimensions uh, dimensions length so diameter of 0.75, length of 5.83, uh, 148. Uh, sorry, it's got two options, 148 millimeters, so that's 15 centimeters. So there's quite a big difference between a 15 centimeter shotgun and a 30 centimeter shotgun when you're looking at trying to get it onto a, a small little rig like this. Um, then you've got the Audio Technica AT-875R. Uh, the kit is 220 bucks but if you just want to get the microphone you get down to 170. there's this one from arden that's hardwired um i don't really like hardwired because it you know sometimes you want to change up the cabling a little bit um but this one i've heard good things about as well it's another short shock on hardwired but um i don't know if that shock mount is like hard onto the camera i presume you can take it off that um, I'll do uh, just to show one final one. This one seems to be exceptionally popular in the short shotgun world. It's the Sony ECM VG1, and you'll see some knockoffs uh, on places like AliExpress, but it's they're pretty much as expensive sometimes as the original. And this is a two hundred dollar uh, short shotgun microphone from uh, from Sony. Um, and uh, you know, there, there's uh, you can watch reviews for all of these on YouTube. Um, and it does run on uh, phantom power so if you're going to have to be properly set up um, on the camera or camcorder side that you have something which has an xlr in um, it, or you know if you want it you can terminate this in uh, 3.5 but i'm not sure you can do it's designed to be used over xlr with phantom power so that is the short shotgun microphone world quick review uh, based on when I'm recording this video in late May of 2022. Hope this was helpful for some other folks uh, looking to pick up one of these microphones. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.